Hey, this is Adam Lane from PocketNow.com. We're going to take a look at some of the internet capabilities on the Touch Diamond from HTC. So the Diamond includes Opera uh, by as the default browser, and on the internet page, you see bookmarks appear here, so you can jump quickly to a bookmark. And you also have a YouTube application. So let's launch the browser. Notice how long this takes. And we have a home screen with a search bar and the HTC logo and a bunch of icons at the bottom. They were there. And these are ambiguous, not written in English, so your mom's not going to know what they are. Uh, I wouldn't recommend this to beginners. So that has an auto hide buttons feature and it automatically goes into full screen often at inopportune times so you have to keep bringing it back now that's the back this is the star <laughs> uh, the middle one is the tabs you can have three tabs the house with the box behind it is the home page and this is the menu menu gives you settings downloads page info history da 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 so let's load a page Bookmark screen is nicely finger friendly, large buttons. This is a stop button. This is your URL. This would be active if you had more than one tab, you could close the tab. This is the progress bar. You can see we're loading still. Did it finish? Okay. Now, you don't know what to do here. This is rendered zoomed out. So, I know it's a VGA screen, and you might be able to read some of this if you put it really close to your nose, but you have to figure out how to zoom in. It turns out that doesn't work, so you have to double tap. And when you double tap, it rewraps the text to fit that screen area. And this is better to read. You can scroll by flicking over here. When you push on, oh, when you push and drag, you see a little black. Those are your scroll bars. See them? That shows you how far you have to go on the other sides. So that shows me there's more over there and more over here. Oops. Sometimes it snaps to columns, but so we can scroll like this and it's rendering more. You can tap and hold and get a menu, save image as, send it. If you tap and hold in here, you got a different menu, context sensitive. You can do select text selection. And we tap and hold again, you can copy it, send it through SMS select everything. That's good. But uh, now how do I scroll? I'm going to get out of the text selection mode. Alright. Now let's... I like to use... Hello? Mobile sites a lot. So that is render zoomed out and I don't really like that. So it's like another step to go through here. And then sometimes it's hard to click these things. And it's a little bit slow to type and it's not typing very well. Whatever. How do I get out of here? Also note on the favorites, we have these weird icons here too. That is an X, usually means delete. This looks like a tool, so that must be settings. Plus, I guess this is an add a bookmark. Turns out 
settings is actually modifying the bookmark so it's not really intuitive ambiguous icons hard to understand people should know that now the most annoying part is getting out of the program exit do you want to exit opera if I didn't want to exit opera I wouldn't have chosen exit if I wanted to minimize it I would have used the minimize button up here I would kinda like a way to uh, switch this to Internet Explorer as the default but whatever YouTube is another application this has to load now I've lost my start menu I've lost my status icons I still don't have soft keys at the bottom nothing is labeled I have no idea what these things mean uh, the only thing I do understand is all videos and we have videos here and I can't scroll them I can select one can I scroll them? Yes, I can. It just didn't work before. There's no scroll bar, so I don't know how long this list is. Program guide. I have pocket now. I already saved. It's a separate program guide. The TV, I guess, means these are the videos. The box with a flag in it means bookmarks. The box with a clock on it means history magnifying glass means zoom or uh, no it doesn't mean zoom it means search so here's another problem see how my text is predicting here if I tap that my uh, it goes away I don't have a keyboard anymore so if I, I have to go up here again, and my text is gone now I have to retype that whole thing in search again. Not very impressed with YouTube. When you play videos, it opens in the player. You got play buttons, pause, stop, full screen, and back. Hi guys, this is Terry Davis from PocketNow.com. Our video this quality is quite nice. Demonstration now. of the Point UI Home application. There's another icon there. That's settings. Pressing YouTube doesn't do anything. And X will get us out of here. Alright, that's enough.